I want to talk about something that can happen when you have an exception. So there's different output streams. One of them is the standard uh, system out. The other one is system.error, E-R-R. And they can appear mixed together when you look at the actual output here. So I did have an exception that happened. And it says, if you read it, no pointer exception right here. But then what's underneath the code I highlighted is more of my system out print statements. And that just seemed really weird that it had an exception and then looks like it continued to run afterwards. What's actually happening here, uh, once an exception occurs, if you don't catch it, it will terminate the execution of your code. So what's actually occurring here all of these exception lines right here, I'm trying to highlight that, the exception lines, here's the continuation of the exception and the continuation again, and there is the rest of the system error right here. What is mixed in, let's see, actually that's, that's my system out and here's where the system error comes in. So what's actually occurring here is the two output streams are not getting displayed immediately. Some of the system out is getting displayed and then the error cuts it off. And then some more of the system out is getting displayed and then the exception cuts it off again. And some more of the system out gets displayed and the exception cuts it off again. So the way you really wanna read this Think about all the exception code here, what I've highlighted and the, the rest of the code in blue here underlined. That's actually occurring after all of the regular system out. So what I have highlighted is the last of my regular system out prints. And you wanna think about the exception. It actually happened after the code I have highlighted. So I'm trying to remove jam, let's see, right here. So I said trying to remove dot, dot, dot. And then the actual line of code that caused it, if I click on this, let's see. If I click on, no, well, I'll just start clicking around. All right, so that is right there. So I'm playing around with next and previous, and that's what caused this. And here is the line of code test code that actually caused the exception to happen. So my code created an exception, my remove method created an exception, uh, and I need to go and fix that, but I just want to let you know that the output looks weird because the exception displayed text appears interspersed with the regular system out text. So this is how to read it, just pretend that all of the exception printed after your regular system out code. So that's the last of my system out code. And then all the exception stuff, you wanna think about it coming next. So last thing was trying to remove, and then you see jam, dot, dot, dot. And everything else is from the exception. So now I'm gonna go and fix that, and hopefully not see the exception in the future.